uh, we have 8 billion people on the planet. There's a billion of those that are happy to work but can't. There are no jobs for them. Some would argue that these people are unemployed because they lack skills or because they don't want to work. And that may be true in a few cases, but in the vast majority, that's not the reason why they're impoverished. The reason why they're impoverished is because you have this scarcity of money. If you have an economy which is generating only a limited number of good jobs, are you surprised that parents feel it's really important to teach their kids how to compete on every level? They want their kids to get those jobs. You know, another kind of response would be to get together and say, hey, wait a second, there's a problem with the structure here. But, you know, we have a very individualistic response to the problem. We live in an economy which takes 80% of our, each new generation, and educates that 80% to obey orders and to endure boredom, and stifles their creativity, and stifles their capacities, and, and curtails them. They are systematically crushed by a system which does what? Which fills slots. And 80% of the slots need people who just do rote, tedious, repetitive labor, at least at work, and therefore are acclimated to doing that. Say, you know what? This is a terrible job. I don't want to do it. It's a free market. You, you have total choice to not show up under these terrible conditions. At the same time, if you don't, uh, little problem here, you're not going to eat, and your family isn't going to eat. And that's why people do it. Yeah, I really hated that job. I think many of us nowadays feel the way Charlie Chaplin role modeled long ago, like cogs in wheels, that we're stuck in the machinery of our economy, that we have very little choice, we have to work a nine to five job and watch a little TV and go to bed and do it all over again. I wanna have a, you know, a more rewarding experience, I guess, with life. And based not just to make money and to say, oh, this year I made 10,000 more than last year. I think that this whole idea of the middle class in this country is ridiculous. There is no middle class. There's no such thing as that, you know? They're the working poor too because their whole lifestyle is financed to death. They have the big, beautiful house, the two lovely cars. They're putting their kids through college. But if they get fired from their job, all of that stuff is over. I've always been kind of a <clears throat> cynical person, so I guess to me, <clears throat> doing jobs to to just support yourself is just pretty much what life is about. It's that we do the work we do so often simply for the money. Now, since we're all chasing this money around, it utterly patterns our society.